Can you please drive? Next stop, Edinburgh Central. Change of plan. Tram, please drive. New ones here. The first taste of haggis. <coughs> did, you taste, did you taste like the inside of like a sausage roll? But like a little bit spicier. Yeah. Oh, it's got them and I'll taste it. <laughs> I don't want to now Google what it is because if I Google what it is, then it's horrible. That is quite spicy, actually. At the end. Yeah. We don't have a problem. I wanted to see the reaction, but that was all. <laughs> <laughs> On to the food. First time tasting haggis in the bag. Not bad. Head in my castle. First stop. Still carrying the bags because we can't check in till three o'clock. So that's fun. Fliss living life. Hi. 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 And this the witch as well. Oh. The witch as well commemorates the people executed here for witchcraft in the 1500s and 1600s. So. Turns out you couldn't take your bags into Edinburgh Castle. So we had to go all the way to Waverley Station, Station. Yeah. drop our bags off, which cost £25. Brilliant. And now we're heading back to Edinburgh Castle, minus our bags. Brilliant. Started off well. Prisoner of War. It's a buffless in there. <laughs> was it, were they actually that high up? It's in, I mean, it's impressive to get up that high, to be honest. <laughs> Beast of the thing, Mom's Meg. Look at that tank. Apparently, look at that. It's a level castle wall, go to that. Look at that, it's a beast. <laughs> the cemetery for soldier dogs. <laughs> Pet cemetery. Pet cemetery. No. That's, that's rough. 
That's rough. I'm here all This is Victoria Street. Victoria Street is thought to be the inspiration for J.K. Rowling when she was writing Diagon Alley for the Harry Potter franchise. The Scott Monument. Tried to go in there. Closed Tobit shop. Brilliant. Can't fault that. Beautiful though. Actually, awesome. Welcome. Colton Hill. Home of home of what? Home of the Coliseum. The Coliseum. <laughs> Incredible. The Scottish <laughs> National Monument, you oh. mean? <laughs> like, it's not a Coliseum, it's technically yeah. a replica of Parnation. Oh Parnation. I mean it's it's closer to that than it is a Coliseum. So oh, Roman yeah, times. Like a, yeah, I know what finally arrived. The Scottish National Monument. Yeah. Looks like That's a closer to a Parnaso, but I'll give you it. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Santana. Good view. Solid view, to be fair. Just take the time to <laughs> admire my beautiful beauty. girl, the beauty. The beauty. <laughs> I'm going to uh, provide you with an in-depth room tour. Oh, 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 oh. Wardrobe. How fancy. Bathroom. Bed. End of tour. Hello. Up, like 20 minutes late. It's all right, sorry. It's, it's my fault. Oh my God. Don't say hello to my video. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Oh my
<laughs> Flesh wanted to come in. <laughs> it was fine. It's quite empty to be fair. Yeah. But she's so just happy that she's sat in the restaurant or in the cafe <laughs> where JK Rowling wrote Harry Potter. <laughs> so she's very happy with life. McGonagall, poet and tragedian, have died 2nd September, 1902, buried near the spot. You notice not in the spot because this graveyard is so old, 450 years old in fact. We don't know exactly in this graveyard where this man is buried. So these are stuck up like in the corner basically. Uh, yes, William McGonagall, of course, the namesake of Professor Minerva McGonagall, the transfiguration teacher from all the books and films. This is where we get the name McGonagall from. Welcome to the Clyde Bedee's collection. It is the world's largest collection of unopened scotch in the world. Guinness World Record holder, started by uh, this gentleman here, Mr. Clyde Bedee's. Uh, not a very Scottish name, though, because he's not Scottish. He is, in fact, Brazilian from Sao Paulo in Brazil. Uh, and he started collecting whiskey in 1971 when he was gifted six bottles of the finest Scotch whiskey, which are on the shelf over there. Now he was told not to open these bottles without due care, so he didn't, and he added to the collection when we have just shy of 3,400 bottles in the collection. <laughs> now he sold it to Diageo, the drinks giant, in 2006 for an undisclosed fee, so we don't know the value of the collection. It took three years to ship all the whisky from Sao Paulo in Brazil across to us here in Scotland. The condition of the sale was it was held together, never split up, and put on the ground. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi folks, how are you doing? Uh, 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 space side for me, please. Space side for you, sir, love it. How's your video coming on, alright? <laughs> Say hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yes, um, Highland, please. Highland, please, love it. 
Which is your favourite one? I'm sorry? Which is your favourite one? All of us. <laughs> of course, of course. That's the only answer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to taste mine? Mine tastes. I think you like. I think you like mine a little bit better. Let's cut taste of it. It's like cherry. Yeah, it's like a spicy. It's like a spicy one. Yeah, it's it's more smoky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it stops people from stealing dead bodies underneath. Now, this is because in Edinburgh, especially in the 17 and 1800s, the University Medical School, which is a two minute walk away from here, they wanted fresh dead bodies. Are you calling up again? Well, I took a dime in a ghost <laughs> I don't know where we are, I think we're at Glencoe. <laughs> she is correct for once. <laughs> <laughs> the Highlands are pretty. They are pretty. I would say they're just on level with the Welsh national parks. Um, maybe better? <laughs> oh, not having that. I don't know, they're probably on level. Nessie, we're coming for you. <laughs> Bliss giving like fake money, look. <laughs> Scottish. Bang off Scotland.
Yeah. Whiskey ice cream. <laughs> Whiskey ice Chris cream. It. Go on. You're gonna like it now. It's good. You're gonna want that. No, it's good though. Well, if you don't like it, then I'll be yours. It's good, isn't it? It's like Pit Lock Worry Dam. Pronunciation. Spell check on that. Pit Lock Worry. Pit Locky. Pit Locky. Pit Locky. Pit Edinburgh day four. We now have to drag the cases around for hopefully less than five minutes, but we'll see how it goes. Imagine. To the bus station. Here we go.
Oh my word. Wild. That is not even fun, man. We are now on our way home from Edinburgh. Sat at the bus station. And he's dying. <laughs> Pain, but had a good time. We had a really good week, but. Um, now. Goodbye. Goodbye.